Hey guys, what's up? Jared here at Basin CrossFit, and maybe you know this, or maybe you don't, but I am a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and that's what I wanted to talk to you guys today about. Not about Jiu Jitsu, but about two of the lifts that I incorporated into my strength training program that made a huge difference in my Jiu Jitsu game throughout the years. So, when I very first started Jiu Jitsu back in 2005, uh, I did not do the Olympic lifts, right? And I also had a horrible, horrible takedown game. Um, for the most part, I would lay on my back, I would pull guard, I uh, didn't have the ability to get down below parallel and, and move quickly underneath somebody, I, I just didn't have it. And um, somewhere around 2008, I started incorporating these uh, Olympic lifts into my strength training program. That's going to be the snatch and the clean and jerk. And uh, as I did these two moves, I started to develop, number one, lots of speed and lots of power through my hips, which, uh, you know, it started to give me the ability to move faster, but it also gave me uh, a much better position down in that low position. It gave me the mobility and the ability to get down really low and explode out of there. And uh, those specific two things helped my takedown game enormously. And we can fast forward 10 years later as a black belt and, uh, I, again, definitely not a wrestler, no background like that, but you would hear that I have a pretty good takedown game and that can be related specifically to, of course, lots of practice and, and lots of time, but developing speed and power through those uh, two Olympic lifts, the snatch and the clean and jerk. So three points specifically that I developed by doing those that uh, helped my game were number one is a sound hip function. So I'm gonna step back here guys and show you Sound hip function means the ability to keep an upright torso here, my chest is staying high, I'm gonna push my hips back, and I'm gonna stay tight in my glutes and my hams, have a nice posterior chain, my shins are straight up and down, I'm in this tight athletic position here, and then I can stand all the way up, all right? So that is um, an ability that a lot of people don't have, to be able to do that and come back up and staying tight the whole time. So any athlete, will benefit from having that skill, specifically in jiu-jitsu, if we're talking about takedowns, sprawls, side control, passing guard, any of those types of things, right? So number one, sound hip function. Number two is developing speed and power in that movement. So being able to push the hips back and stand tall is essentially what the snatch and the clean and jerk is. You're gonna be doing that and moving a load over your head, a heavy, heavy load, right? As much as you possibly can stand. So the ability to lift more weight is gonna develop speed and power through that hip movement. So if you're thinking, again, takedowns or sprawls, you can see how a strong hip flexion will help you out, right? And then the third thing that's specific to Olympic weightlifting and jiu-jitsu is the ability to go to these end range mobilities around the joint and the muscles, okay? So uh, in the snatch, I'll use the elbow and the shoulder, for example, you catch extremely locked out overhead at the end range of the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder, right? As far back as you can go with, you know, body weight or more over your head. Um, what is this movement mimics a bar, an arm bar specifically, right? And so having strength and tension here gives me the ability to safely control that situation and, and, and protect myself and be able to get out of it. So. If I'm thrown into this position in an arm bar and I'm not used to it, I'm gonna tap. But if I have strength there and speed and power and tension, it's gonna help me quite a bit. So those are three of the big benefits, sound hip function, speed and power, and in range mobility that helped me out quite a bit for Jiu Jitsu. Another thing is uh, when you train the Olympic lifts, we're not training for hypertrophy, we're not training to get big. So it doesn't affect you in staying within your weight classes. You can get really strong without gaining any uh, you know, muscle mass. We would just gain some really, really lean mass and probably cut a lot of fat too. So um, helps out there. We don't really get sore. We don't do lots of reps. We keep them low, uh, fives, threes, and ones usually. And that's in the rep range. It's not gonna make you sore. So you can continue to train hard. You don't have to have a lot of recovery time. Um, and then just, again, the ability to move fast and control an external resistance. If you can catch your body weight overhead and stand up, then when you're fighting somebody that weighs the same as you, you're gonna be able to react to that external resistance 
and you're going to be aware of, of what can happen. You can still have lots of speed and power. So that's the, the big benefits of just doing snatch and clean and jerk that can help your jiu-jitsu game specifically. I'm going to link a couple more videos and show you exactly what these moves are later. So, all right, guys. Thanks.